start with uh, an opening statement from Coach Clays, and then we'll go ahead and take questions. So, Coach, when you're ready. All right. You know, I thought the kids played hard. Um, obviously, it's been a tough week for us, but um, to get the type of effort we did with what they had to go through, I'm tremendously proud of them. Um, played, give us an opportunity to win. Um, there at the end, we didn't make a play there. We missed a couple plays earlier in the game, and uh, it was a great football game, a lot of effort. So, uh, um, Hate to lose the um, the jug, uh, especially under the circumstances. But um, you know they made a few more plays than us. So, but very proud of the kids, and um, uh, I'll, I'll open up from there. Tracy, can you just take us through that last sequence, those last couple of plays there, and what you were seeing out there, and why you ultimately decided to go for the touchdown instead of well, personality-wise. You know, the, the half a yard, I'd called timeout and done it again. I, I just think in those situations, you got to be able to get a half a yard. If it's outside the one yard line, hey, we'll kick it and move on. But uh, in that situation, I felt like we could get it. And uh, if I'd do it all over again, I'd do, I'd do the same thing. You, you know, this is, that's what it's about. And uh, the, the play before that it did take a little bit longer than what we thought. There's a shift in emotion. But the bottom line is when we ran that play coming out of after they uh, brought the touchdown back, it was one of those things where we thought we could get two plays off. You know, that, that's really what we were looking at. So we're going to go through a little shift motion thing, see if we couldn't get somebody open on a short pass, and then from there come back and try to stick it in. And obviously it, it didn't work, and it's, it, it, it was my call. But uh, um, I, like I say, that, that's my personality. You get it down inside there. I, I, th I think you got to get the ball in the end zone to win. Did you, did you know the clock was running after they yeah. reversed the touchdown? Yeah, we did. We did. Is that one of those where there, it's so emotional? Mitch almost looked in tears when he's coming off the field. He's so happy to throw that touch, what looked like a touchdown. And then is, do you think you guys were fully ready at that point? I mean, there's enough time. You don't have any choice. you got to be ready. Since they put the ball down and go, you got to go. You know, I mean, it's uh, you, you have to have a next play mentality all the time. And, I'm not saying that it don't take away some momentum. Obviously, it does. But I'm also a big fan of that rule. You know, is that uh, I don't think you should lose ball games if somebody doesn't score points the way they should. So the replay got it right. Um, after I seen the the first one, I knew there was a chance that it was going to be marked short, and so that's why we had the offense ready to get up there right on the line and 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 get going. So um, um, I'm sure that the change of emotion, you know. You take it away from one and, and you give it to the other one. But uh, hey, next play mentality is what wins in this game. You got to line up and go again. So, uh, and, I, and our kids, I mean, shoot. Like I say, they, they tried everything they could. And, and when we fought hard, it just came up a little short. When you, when you needed uh, Santoso to punt there, was, was partly, is Pete injured at all? Just, no, Pete's fine. Pete's fine. You know, he, he had some little legs injury. Um, over the open break, but 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 he he's fine. I mean, he made a bad punt on the one return. You know, it kicked a low one away from the coverage that they returned down there on the short field, and and which you know they they've done awfully well in punt return all year long, been pretty good. And so uh, uh, that that uh, had a little bit to to do with it. Well, I mean, with Santoso there, was there was he your end zone guy? What's that now? Santoso went in to punt. Yeah, yeah, one time because Pete didn't put the ball where he's supposed to. All right, and that caused a long return, and we worked two weeks on it, and so we're just, hey, let, let's give the other guy a try. Placement of the ball is so important on punt coverage. I mean, it really is. How could you play a better game than a lighter play? Excuse me? How could you play a better game than a lighter play? He played awfully well, you know, and, and so, uh, um, you know, I feel bad for him, but he made a lot of plays and, and uh, took care of the, of the ball. For the most part, you know, the, the only um, offensively, the one thing that hurt was the one series. I think we had we were in field goal position. We were around the 35 yard line on third and five, and we took a sack, and so we had to punt it and rather kick the field goal, or, or we'd I think we'd had a shot at three more points uh, there with the win. But um, hey, he he did awfully well. He really did. I'm proud of him and all those guys. Uh, 
we, we made some plays to give us a chance to win. It's, it's, we just came up one or two short on both sides of the ball. Coach, did you hear from Coach Kill at all over the last couple of days? Did he address the team or have a no, message? He, he didn't address, yeah, I mean, he, until we tell him good. I talked to him last night. It was the first time that I had a chance to talk to him, and, and uh, he told me he's going to watch the game. And uh, I said, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, you know, and, and, and um, with the TV and that, and he said that Rebecca would keep him from throwing things at it and, and protect the TV. And then, um, y you know, uh, he, he was in pretty good spirits, and I just told him to take good notes, and I'd be by Sunday morning to pick him up, and it'd save us time on grading the film. On, on Sunday. So. Tracy, was there any doubt that he was on a one foot to one the other night? You know, all I can go off of the guys in the box that they seen the replay, I haven't seen it yet. And they felt like he was he was down at the at the half foot line, Sid. So gotta trust the video. But and, and like I said, I'm I'm not opposed to that because I I, I think that some if you're gonna win a football game or get points on the board you should legitimately score. So I'm I'm not opposed to that. Tracy, with so many swings of momentum in the game, where are guys' heads at right now? Well, everybody's disappointed. I mean, we I, – I don't know if I'm right on this, but, you know, we haven't defended the jug in a long time. And to come that close to having it, you know, is that uh, – and like I say, the effort they put forth. I mean, you're talking about, you know, 18 to 22-year-old kids who just lost one of the most influential people in their life. You know, all you got to do is watch Coach's uh, press conference, you know. So, they've had, they've had a tough week now. Replace a guy like that, and us as coaches, I've been with him 21 years. Most of us 15 or 16 years, and that press conference showed what a special person he is. So, um, I think we all did pretty damn good to, to get ourselves ready for the game and that, and we're all disappointed as hell that we came up a play short. But... Um, that, that This is a tough game for tough people. Coach has been saying that a long time, and we'll, we'll be just fine. Tracy, they muffed a punt, and their guy looked like he was going to try and bring it out, got tackled. I know your yeah. sideline was yeah. saying safety, safety. Did yeah. you see, I know it was on the other side of the yeah. field, but did you see what happened there? And <coughs> you know, I was going to challenge that, but then the, the, the um, official said it was still considered just a kick, whether he touched it or not. Had he touched it... Um, or bobbled it in the field of play was the, was what they told me. So he, they said he could have ran around the end zone the whole time and got tackled. It's not a matter of where you're trying to get out, anything like that. So, you know, they get paid to know the rules. Okay, for safety. Um, that was a mop. So. Do we have any more questions for Coach Place? Yeah. Appreciate you. it. We have uh, Brandon Lingen and Steve Richardson in here.